If you're trying to unlock Kit Faller in Elite Dangerous Odyssey, you're most likely going to hit a brick wall when it comes to finding opinion polls. So we're going to talk about every step you need to take to unlock that engineer. We've all tried it. You're sitting down for a nice, relaxing mining trip. You undock, you get to the build, and you forgot your limpets. Presenting the Remember Your Limpets mark from the Down to Earth store. With this mark, you'll have a nice bright sign right in your face, reminding you to restart your limpets. Check out this and many other products at d2astore.com. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. So today we're going to talk about Kit Folder and we're just going to dive right into it here. We're going to look at the unlock requirements. As always, we have three different steps. First of all, we need to learn about Kit Folder by completing some stuff for Domino Green. I already have a video up on Domino Green up here in the more info icon. Go check that out if you are interested in that. But, so in order to actually learn about Kit Folder, we need to get, to get that from Domino Green. You should have that done, so let's move on. Next, you need to get access, and this is where it gets difficult, because you need to sell 40 opinion polls to a bartender. Now, in terms of suit loadouts, you can have a few options here. You can go with a Maverick suit, you can also go with a Dominator. I'm going Dominator here. What weapon you will need is the Magical Execution of the Sniper Rifle. That is super important, and this is going to be key for what we're going to be doing. If you can get it with audio, audio masking, that is nice. It's absolutely not a must, it's a nice to have. Other than that, depending on what suit you have, you're going to need something, either a strong plasma weapon or a kinetic pistol or something like that. You can see I've got all plasma here, but you can take like a, a P15 or something like that if you just want some kinetic damage. Something to take down people without shields because there's going to be plenty of those around. Now, in terms of locations, what you're going to need to find is a system in Anarchy. Now, if you're watching this way in the future, this UI might have been completely reworked. I know Frontier is working or something. But in general, you need to go in and need to filter your systems by government type. And then make sure you have it set to Anarchy. Then you want to head down and you want to find where you can do compare by size. And you want to check the little population filter and just move it up one tack. Now you will only see populated anarchy systems show up on your map. Head around to these systems and what we're going to be looking for are surface installations. And more specifically, we're going to be looking at tourist installations. So if you go up and you open your system map over here in points of interest, you're looking for the Odyssey settlements and you're looking for something that sounds like a place tourists would go. So it's going to be like a lodge or a spa or a visitor center or something like like that so so basically look you can pretty much guess from the names what they are like a drilling thing so that's a mining thing excavation that's also some mining thing what you can do of course is to use something like EDB or Inara to locate a system that has a tourist economy because it does make it quite a bit easier the system I'll be using today is one such system as you can see here it is an anarchy system and it is in it has a tourist economy and that also means that when we open up the system map and we look at the settlements then you can see here we have a spa, we have an inn, we have a view, so something like a viewing platform, and it just keeps going. There's a resort, there's a lodge, there's a lodging, there's tons and tons more spas and resorts down here. Tons and tons of them. Now, the reason why I spend so much time talking about how to find your own system is because when you have a lot of people going to the same system, doing what we're going to be doing in a second, you are going to get these things set on fire. They're going to shut down for business and then we can't farm them. So that's why if you go here to this and everybody goes here in order to see lots of fleet carriers here, it's going to shut down. The place I'll be using today is the little settlement here called Betty Inn. Now, once you arrive at your chosen destination they can have different layouts i prefer this one where i have a lot of houses and a bar out to one side with a power plant because you're looking for all these houses where the data ports are in so i've got good running over this but do get familiar with the site that you're at before you start your run so in this case i'm going to the only place that i can go without a security access and i'm heading into the uh, into the bar Entering. be mindful of the guards keep an eye on the upper right hand corner if you get that attention icon there that means the guard is trying to scan you don't run away from them they will open fire so let them scan you and then they will leave you alone if you don't have any bounties in the bar you will find your first data port and we can look and see if we find any opinion polls here which we didn't so we're gonna head outside on this side here i'm gonna usually head up on the roof because from up here you can easily find some of the guards and that's why we need our sniper so you can either take down a guard you can also scan people down through the skylights in the roof basically just find someone 
where you can scan them and get a security access of at least one. So after checking the area, make sure it's clear. I can walk up to the uh, uh, to the NPC and just quickly clone their signature and then remember to put them away again. You can see someone's already coming up here investigating. So we're going to be quick and get rid of that NPC before they spot us. We can see more people down here in the road, but we're too far away and this is where audio masking comes in being really nice. Now we have access and we can begin knocking on doors. So I'm just going to walk into the houses one at a time. Shotgun ready. Keep an eye on the minimap up in the corner. You can very easily see if there's people inside and kill people. Once the house is cleared, you will see these data ports. Go up, check it, see if you find any opinion polls. If you don't, well, just leave and check out the next house. While you're in the houses, also keep an eye on the minimap again, because if guards hear you, they can hear you if you begin to shoot inside the buildings, and they will come in and investigate. But you can still see them on the minimap, so do pay attention to it. A thing to be mindful of is if the NPCs see you, you will see that little yellow icon and tin icon next to them. If you see an NPC with that icon, that means that's a priority target for you, because they're about to call in support. If they call in support, you have to flee, because otherwise we have to go and shut down alarms and all that stuff, and that's, that's annoying. But the site I'm using here has five data ports in the buildings and one in the bar, giving you a six in total, and each of them have a chance to find opinion polls, as you can see here. I usually get one in like one in every three runs, and a run takes probably like five to ten minutes. So realistically, you're probably going to be looking at like two to three opinion polls per hour. So it is a bit of a hard grind, but it's definitely doable. And so far, this is one of the best methods that, uh, that I've seen to, uh, to locate these. And once you're done, you're just going to head back to your ship, board it, and go up into Super Cruise, drop out immediately and fly back to the base. This will reset the base back to the state it was in when you arrived first. And you can then rinse and repeat the whole cycle again. So once you have your opinion polls, head to a station, go up to the bartender, say you want to sell some items, find your opinion polls on the list, and sell 40 of them. Next, we need to make sure we have five surveillance equipment, so we can go and, and hand those in to, uh, to Kit Fuller, so he will tell us about the next engineer down the line. Surveillance equipment is luckily relatively easy to find. You often find it in command centers, in security areas, um, operations areas. That's where I, I often find these kind of things. So I think one of the easiest ways to do this is just to go into the mission board and you can find um, power on missions and then go to those bases, either actually complete the missions and you may even, I think, if you're lucky, in some cases be able to find them as um, rewards. So you can actually just pick them up as a, as a reward for, for the missions. But otherwise, just go to a base. I do have a video about how you can very easily farm a base over and over again for materials. I'll be linking that also in the more info icon. So if you're interested in how to farm materials efficiently, go and, uh, and check that out. So all there's left to do now is to uh, head over to uh, Kit Fuller hand in your surveillance equipment, and you're done. Congratulations, you're now unlocked and you can move on to the next engineer. If you found this video useful, I would really appreciate if you would consider to go down and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, give the video a like if you liked it, and also next time, I will see you guys in space.